Oh yeah, welcome. So on this episode we're going to go, th go through and explain how the controls need to be uh, set up and any and the prereq prerequisites. This may or may not work for every controller in, term in terms of wheel controllers, but uh, it's a good starting point at least to try and troubleshoot and uh, eliminate issues and get things working. With the settings, controls. Now, even if your manufacturer of your wheel is Logitech or it's something else, if it's not detected after you've installed the game, then that means you don't have the, uh, the framework uh, or prerequisite drivers. Um, on your system that the engine which is unity actually supports in order to detect the wheel you're using so at the moment you can see i've got keyboard it's lit up in white but the other two are in gray For the purposes of this example i've unplugged mine so that's why they show up as gray but the first time i went to play this game i discovered my steering wheel even when i plugged it in it was still staying as gray it wasn't showing up now, it, from what I've read on discussions uh, prior to me discovering the solution was that um, even if you don't own a Logitech steering wheel, the, the general solution is to try, uh, at least try, by downloading what's called the Logitech G-Hub software. Now, you're probably thinking, well, I don't own a Logitech steering wheel, why would I do that? simple answer is it installs the various um, framework files DLLs libraries that actually work with unity so as long as that framework can then detect your wheel it then sh will light this up as white so now I've just because I have the software now installed I've, in I've just connected up the wheel and the indicator has changed to white so in this particular case, the uh, Logitech G920, I think it is that I have, you now see the buttons and you can customize. Some of these will be blank, so you can customize to your, to your liking. So the camera axis has to do with, you can either use your mouth, move your head, or maybe set up the, uh, the D-pad on it to move left and right. Change the cameras. B button shift up and down now shift up and down is generally only really need if you need to do say anything other than driving forward for example shifting down to reverse it would be nice to see additional uh, controllers added in such as the Logitech G SciTech uh, what do you call it heavy equipment uh, panel because then you can use that button. Oh, there's like, is it, is it 10 plus buttons on that you could use for all the various functions of the bus? But, uh, yeah, so that's how you get the, you get your wheel working in for in most cases. Unfortunately, there may be a, still maybe a few various models um, that may not work. I've seen on the discussions on Steam. Some people saying that even the G923 they were having issues with now, as to whether or not they've actually installed the Logitech G Hub software. I I can't confirm. But um, as I said, at least give it a go. You've nothing to lose. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.